Hi there and welcome to our van conversion video series. Our van conversion video will be much different than most others. First of all, we won't have video showing me turning the screw and cutting a board. We think you know how to do that by yourself. We're going to show us snapshot pictures throughout the process. We want to travel on our own schedule, not forced to stay in any RV park, not forced to boondock or just do whichever we choose to do. And you can't do that with a big RV, so we went with the van conversion. With this size vehicle, we can park it nearly any place. We still wanted to retain all the comforts of home in a small package. So throughout these videos, we'll show you how we accomplished that. We're quite happy with the results. We're about 95% completed right now. So there's a few trim areas that aren't finished yet, and you'll see those throughout the videos. We're not going to spend hours of your life sifting through long videos trying to find a few frames of information that you really want. Instead, our videos are broken into still picture sections and you'll be able to jump to the picture you're looking for to find what you want easily. Gone are the days of always wondering how something was done because we're going to show you how it was done. We won't go into infinite detail like some people do and waste your time we will show you the big picture concepts of how we achieved what we achieved. We are not concerned about followers. We're only concerned about getting the information out to those who need it. The internet has provided lots of information for me and this is my way of re returning payment. I will in turn present the information that I know on subjects that I have skills in and this will help the general public just like YouTube has helped me in general. If you want to do your own van conversion, then these videos may be of interest to, you, interest to you, or they may not. That's your choice. What we do know is that the information that we provide will be accurate and factual information, and will be organized in a logical manner. So if you want to convert your own van, you may want to refer to us. The choice is yours. Because I'm an engineer, I'm slightly anal, well maybe it's considerably anal. At any rate, I like to plan ahead. Everything is pre-planned before I do it. What you will find throughout our videos is detailed information, not high-level high information. The detailed information is where all the action is. Like they say, the devil's in the details. So we're going to try, we're try to help drag you through that. One other point, we're not going to fix audio mistakes. If I say something and then a guy to say it differently, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to spend hours trying to edit this into a perfect audio recording. That's not my goal here. My goal here is to pass information. So bear with me if I make mistakes and I stutter and carry on, whatever. That's just part of the video. Another thing that makes our video so different is that you're not learning mistakes as, as we go. We've been down the wrong fork in the road. We've had to back up and go down the correct fork in the road, and we've already done that. So what you see here will be the results of bad choices that were turned into good choices. So you don't have to go through all the same mistakes we make. Instead, you're going to see the net positive result of what we did. In closing, we wanted a van conversion that looked good and was still functional. Sometimes those two are hard to achieve together. We considered things such as fresh water tank on board with electric pump, which is driven by the left sink faucet, and a direct hose connection while we're in RV park, which is connected only to the right faucet. So we could pull water from the RV park or from our own tank, and we just try to keep options. For example, our power conversion from shore power to inverter, we have 480 watts of solar power running through a MMPT charge controller. The panels are in series so we get a good charge even on cloudy days. And uh, the 2000 watt inverter runs through an automatic AB switch which connects our power panel to either the shore power or the inverter automatically. We can't mess it up. So we're charging the batteries. Many people try to connect their batteries to the alternator of the vehicle. We decided that wasn't a good idea. Instead, we took a charge control battery, an AC battery charger, which is designed to float the batteries at the proper voltages. We used gel cells. 
And because of that, we need an AC source while we're driving. So we used a 400 watt inverter driven by the engine batteries when the key is on to provide the power for this battery charger, which also uses an AB switch, which switches to shore power when the engine is not running. So this way, anytime we have solar, we're charging the batteries. Anytime we're driving, we're charging the batteries. Anytime we're plugged into shore power, we're charging the batteries. We have 400 amp hour total batteries and they work quite fine because we have a refrigerator which runs 110 volts AC. We will run it 24 hours a day and we've already determined by measurement that it takes 45 amp hours per day to run the refrigerator. So we're in good shape power wise. Lots of things to consider when you're doing a van conversion. These are just some of them. So we want everything automatic, we want everything to look good, we want everything to work properly and low maintenance. So that's our goal throughout this whole build. So hopefully you have similar requirements and will benefit from these videos. One last thing, we have two and a half months of time invested in this project and we spent about $3,600 on materials and special products that go inside the van. This is on top of the cost of the van. Thanks for joining us. So long.